From robots that can navigate through hundreds of shelves in an 11-meter tall warehouse. So then the robot management system will trigger the relevant robot to go and retrieve the beam or the rack. This warehouse covers 750,000 square feet. A section of this space has been converted into a three-story mezzanine structure, housing robots with the capacity to process 20,000 units of products in a single eight-hour shift. So in simple terms, YCH, what we stand for is supply chain solutioning, end-to-end -end supply chain solutioning. And that means uh, not just making sure it gets from warehouse to the store, it is looking at the entire value chain. A supply chain solution starts with the supplier furnishing raw materials to a manufacturer and ends with the delivery of the finished product or service to the consumer. We're looking at the materials, we're looking at the manufacturing process, we're looking at the transportation, the regional connectivity, embargoes, licensing restrictions. YCH entered the supply chain trade in 1955. YCH actually stands for, yep, those are the initials of uh, my late grandfather. He started the business in passenger transportation. Back then, we were serving the likes of the, the British Army, their private contractors, the PUB contractors, because uh, that was a time before Singapore had, had SPAS and SMRT, obviously. And uh, that was doing fine in the 50s and 60s, roaring trade, because you know, that's what Singapore needed at the time. Chairman and Ryan's father, Robert Yap, took the helm in 1980. He refocused YCH from moving people to moving goods. And that was a very visionary move at the time because the clarion call for my father uh, for the our chairman was simply, you have 3% revenue left, right? But you have 100% of the headcount. You cannot fire any one of them. They are your family. Take care of them. So, so when you're faced with those kinds of scenarios, you have to innovate to survive. Innovation has kept YCH moving forward. In 2020, retail e-commerce sales worldwide amounted to 4.28 trillion US dollars. As the head of growth and innovation, Ryan had already predicted certain trends years back. Even before the pandemic, right? Uh, we, we, you, there was a rising trend of e-commerce. Different kind of fulfillment models which are smaller rather than the typical, oh, you must have one truckload, or you must have one pallet, then I ship to you. Right? Those kind of things don't happen anymore. Just look at our food delivery. One, one cup of bubble tea, they still send it to you. Right? And so instead of delivery vans, it's delivery motorcycles, scooters, bicycles. They want to have lower minimum orders. They want to have faster fulfillment times. In order to prepare for this increase in demand, Ryan decided that he needed to expand his operations literally. What we have to do in Singapore is we have to think smarter because we don't have that land, we don't have that land availability, we don't have that labour availability, especially now in these COVID times. So there is definitely a need to have that space maximisation of the mezzanine structure. But the space expansion wasn't the biggest innovation. Ryan decided to bring in a tech gizmo that could increase productivity by 300%. You save time because the robots will move faster than human beings. So for us, it's, it's a matter of the efficiency and the scalability and plasticity of time. YCH, a family-run supply chain solutions provider, is utilising robots to boost its productivity. In 2019, third-generation member Ryan Yap set up a special department to cater to e-commerce orders fulfilled by robots. What's happening here is that we have about 24 robots uh, looking after about 350 racks of shelves. And they're constantly shifting the racks around to bring them to an interaction zone, the operations area. We call it a workstation. The modus operandi here is known as goods to person. So what will happen is that all these uh, racks, shelves that you see, the robots will lift these individual racks, bring them to our operation area, right, uh, where our workers live, uh, really work and operate out of this small enclosed area without having to travel and go into the depths of the warehouse to interact with the cargo. 
So we measure in terms of productivity increases. And by putting this in, we've actually tripled our manpower productivity because you cut out walking. It actually takes up a lot of time. Uh, about 30, a good 30, 40% of the time is spent traveling. The robots are Autonomous Mobile Robots, or AMRs. They are supplied by Geek Plus. So this is actually our flagship AMR. We call it the P800. This is the robot that we use as the mainstay in our goods-to-person system. So basically, the function of it is to move underneath the mobile racks, lift it up, and then uh, transport the racks to and from different places. But how do the AMRs know which racks to lift? So this area right here, this is actually a camera that reads a QR code underneath the racks. The robot management system software was designed specially for the operations here. So, first of all, our whole software for the system is hosted on our on-premise servers, which are housed in a server room, usually. And uh, the communication with uh, all the terminals and robots are done wirelessly. Wherever there's a task that needs to be assigned to a robot, this information will be communicated wirelessly from the servers to the robot. So, for example, if a certain item needs to be picked, then the system will already know where this item is among all the racks here. So we have our algorithms to assign, for example, the nearest robot to carry out this uh, retrieval task. And then the robot nearest to it will carry the rack and then bring it to one of these uh, picking stations. The robots read the QR codes on the floor to get from point A to B. So what we are seeing here in this terminal screen here is the layout of this uh, current warehouse. So we have um, this little square, blue squares here, which uh, represent the racks, the mobile racks. And then we have this circular icon that represents the robot. You can see they're actually moving. So because right now we are uh, doing operation. And the green squares here are the uh, workstation. And the top right one here is where we are standing at. Right, then uh, each of these lines, they're actually the path for the robot to take. The e-commerce hub is a busy department. With robots doing the heavy lifting, the team is able to process up to 6,000 orders a day. When people start to buy online, all these orders will come to our WMS system, warehouse management system, where we will start to process the order. We will prioritise the orders according to the um, criteria on the shipping time that is given to us, and we will push the order to the pick and pack operation. And then we will push it to the ground with the robots to process the orders. At the workstation, the staff need only follow the push notifications provided by the system. Okay, we will start to pick and according to what the system asks us to pick. As you can see here, this diagram shows the racking that is here with all the pigeonhole. So the system will tell us, okay, please go to this red colour, 6C, to get the product and this quantity. So I will do that now. Okay, first, when we get the product, we will scan. Once I scan the correct product, okay, it, it will tell me which bin to put. I will just have to put the product in and then tap. And then when it turns green, means the order is completed. One bin is one order. After the orders are packed manually, they are ready to be shipped out. In order to meet an increasing demand for faster fulfillment times in the e-commerce industry, YCH, a supply chain solutions provider, is employing robots in place of humans. After successfully implementing a goods-to-person robotic system on a smaller scale, Ryan Yap, the head of growth and innovations, started dreaming bigger. He has built a new three-story mezzanine to scale up the company's operations even further. In a warehouse, there's a lot of the airspace that's required. So really, the only way to bring that same versatility that you saw at the e-commerce hub and put it into the, the, uh, the warehouse is to come up with an automated mezzanine structure. Instead of using only the familiar AMRs, a new robot model is being introduced, the C200 series. The conception of the mezzanine project is so that we can utilise as much vertical space as possible. So there were a few product range that we were experimenting with, but in the end, we end up with a combination of two product range. Uh, the first one is the P800 AMR, which is our standard AMR unit. We are using it on the ground floor to manage our mobile racks. And then for the second and third mezzanine floor, we are actually using 
this C200S Robo Shuttle. Slightly different from the AMR. So this robot already comes uh, pre-assembled from our factory. We, we actually manufacture our own robots uh, with our production plant in China. The C200 series executes the bins-to-person workflow. So what bins-to-person means is that instead of carrying the whole rack to the operator, it actually retrieves individual bins to the operator. So in this case, you actually minimize the overall material movement and it's a more precise way of doing material handling. Terence is still in the process of trialling his automated machine. What you see on this screen is actually the layout of uh, this entire setup. Each of the green icon represents each of the tote bin, and then uh, this circular icon represents uh, the robot shuttle robot. We are doing a testing of the tote retrieval and uh, the storage mechanism and function. Similar to the e-commerce hub operations, the robot management software system will manage the movements and pathways of the machines. So notice that there are also QR code. Uh, it will follow the QR code as part of its navigational process. So yes, the speed is fast because it's meant to be worked in a non-human environment. Each of the location here, uh, there is also a QR sticker uh, for each uh, bin location. So actually, this, this is to help with the identification of the positioning of each uh, tote. A total of 58 robots will run the mezzanine in a couple of months. And Ryan hopes that this is just the beginning. I have to put my automations uh, intelligently. I have to invest uh, in a smart manner. Because uh, right now, I think supply chain is at a point where we're front and centre in the limelight. With all these pandemic news disruptions and shortages, the veracity, the resilience of your supply chain has now come front and centre into everyone's minds. The next 10 years is us putting it together to make a, real, a better difference than what we are now.